Hi, you guys. So I had planned on doing a live, my first live tonight, just like a simple like meet and greet. And I murdered that, <laughs> that dream. I am so sorry, you guys. I didn't realize that I had to wait 24 hours after, after like, <sighs> you have to set it up on YouTube. I didn't know. Okay. I'm just a newbie. So anyways, you have to wait 24 hours after you activate it. So I'm sorry. The live is not happening tonight. I apologize because I did say I was going to do it and I want to. These lives are important to me and I'm going to talk to you about it right now. Why they're going to happen. Okay. They're so important. So first and foremost, the chat is so important to me. So I was asked by another channel to mod for them earlier this year. And so I've been doing that once a week or maybe a couple of times a week for them. And at first, like, I didn't think that would be anything that I would even consider doing or really want to do, but it has been like amazing. I love it. I love the chat. I love talking to people. I love the community. Not, not only like it's the love that the channel has for their members and their subscribers and the people in the chat and the, the love that the chat has for them and for each other. It's just, I love the community that's there. I love it. And I've seen other chats in other ch places and call. Oh, I just love what this particular channel has created. And I want that for my channel and that's really important. And when I do like my documentaries and things like that, like my stories, I can talk to you guys in the comments, but I feel like there's still that missing something, you know, to create a community. And it's really these lives and having an opportunity to talk to you guys about different cases or things that are going on in your world. So I, that's something I really want to do. It's important. Also, um, these docs, they take me, these stories, they take me a long time to get done. And you can see like there's big gaps. I am a full-time working mom. I have three kids. It just takes me a little bit to get some of these done. And I don't want it to be like that. So I think these lives will give me an opportunity to put content out to continue to talk true crime while I'm still working on these documentaries and just stories. I'm not sure what I call them, docs, stories, whatever they are, but I want to keep doing those. I want to do a great job with them and not feel a whole lot of pressure and feel bad that I'm not putting content out. So these lives are going to, I hope, help with that. And help me get to know you guys better so that's important to me um okay so some things i want to do with my channel i want to do a book club i've talked about this before the book club is way important to me um i don't know how many people would be interested in that so let me know in the comments because book club that is totally something i want to do um so i'm gonna do game nights you guys with you i think it will be so fun It'll be a fun way to get to know you guys. I'm a big fan of dressing up. And so I want to bring that into the channel a little bit. So I'm going to dress up for these game nights. I will let you guys know kind of what you need to wear. If you want to dress up, I'll give you guys an opportunity to maybe um, show off what you're wearing. So I think it will be fun. And I'll get into more detail about what I have planned, but not until I have it completely ready. But I'm hoping September is my birthday. So I'm hoping to do one like around my birthday. So that would be fun. Um, okay, what else? We're gonna do cases that are current on my lives. A lot of those, I think that will be a fun, a fun opportunity. I have a couple right now. Summer Wells, I've just started really getting into. I want to know what your thoughts are on it. It's so strange. Um, I think that the possibilities of what could happen to her are endless, and um, I just want to know what you guys think about her. Um, Maya Miliete is one that is really like in my heart right now. I think about Maya all the time. She keeps me up until three o'clock in the morning sometimes. So we will discuss Maya. I'm going to do stories on both of those and then we'll do live discussions on them. So you'll get some content on both of them quite a bit here, I think. Um, okay. My podcast, I'm going to be doing more audio stuff, um, because my camera situation right now is a little bit weird. So I want to to do more of the audio stuff too. So I will be for sure putting out more stories. They'll be a little bit different from what you see on YouTube. So make sure that you follow me on, I'm almost on, I think on almost all streams, um, podcasts, like platforms. So find me, follow me, because I'm going to start putting more out there with my podcast. I'm way excited about that. Um, Let's see. Oh, 
I'm going to do more field trips. That will be, those will be more of a vlog. So I'll probably have somebody film it for me and we'll, we're just going to go on some field trips. So I think that'll be fun to take you guys on. Um, yeah, let me see. I just want to make sure I kind of covered some of the things I want to do with my channel. You guys, I want to have fun with you. I want to continue to grow with you guys. And I don't mean just my numbers. I mean, just like as a person, as a content creator, uh, and I want to make friends and that's, that's just really important to me. I've already made friends within the other chat and I want to do that here. And I just, I don't know. I just appreciate it like so much. I just can't tell you how life changing that has been for me. And I think that bringing this over to my channel is going to be absolutely what I need. So, um, Hey, let's talk about Alan White really quick. I haven't talked about Alan White, um, for a little while and there is some massive updates on him. Um, well, in May, they, um, well, okay, so I'll tell you, if you haven't heard about Alan White, I'll kind of give you a rundown. He went missing October 22nd. He was seen at a gym early in the morning. He left the gym. They get him on camera, filling up his tank with gas. He had um, a rented Porsche McCann. He drives off. He's supposed to be going home because he had a meeting, but he never makes it home. So, Everyone's really worried he doesn't show up for work. He's not showing up for things that he promised that he'd show up for. His husband's getting worried about him. It's just really, really sad. And they eventually find his Porsche, the rented Porsche, parked kind of in a weird place in Dallas, Texas. Um, it's in a parking lot, but it's like covered and woodsy and just kind of secluded. So they find his car, but no, no trace of Alan. And they don't really talk about what they find in the car. But later on, it does come out that he, they found his iPhone and have been working on getting warrants. I don't know if they've gotten those warrants, what they've discovered, but I know that with like Apple, for each app, you have to have a warrant for each app you want open. So it can be a little bit of a tedious process. So they haven't really released any information on what they figured out. I do think that his phone is gonna be a big part of figuring out what happened to him. Um. So anyways, they ended up finding his body early in May. Um, it was like a mile away from the car, which just blows my mind. I don't know what kind of searches they did. They really kept things really quiet regarding his case, but it makes me sick because he was really like a mile away in this little wooded area by his car. And, you know, didn't I don't know. Did, did nobody search there? I don't know what happened. Maybe they did search. Maybe they walked right past him. I know that, that happened. Um, to a little girl who went missing in Logan. They walked past her body several times before they discovered where she was at. Um, so maybe that's the case, but whatever it is, it just makes me sad. They're not saying a whole lot. They haven't ruled it a homicide. They're just waiting for like toxicology reports and things like that to come back to figure out what happened to Alan. But um, that was one that really got me, that like really made me sad. There's just not a lot of coverage on him. Not a whole lot of um, YouTubers talking about him. I know that there were a couple, I think, um, God, John Morden, I think I, I may have seen him cover a little bit on Alan, but there wasn't really a whole lot. So, um, let's see. Yeah. So that's kind of what's going on in my world. Um, I'm just been sitting sad on Alan White and, um, praying about May Miliete. And you guys, if I say her name wrong, I have heard it every way possible and some like news articles will be like they'll, they'll say her name different within the same news story so i hope i'm saying her name right Miliete, Miliete, it just Miliete sounds right to me um but yeah i've been praying for her and for summer wells and um really researching them but if you have suggestions things that you want to see me do on this channel I want to hear it, and I'm so sorry that my live did not happen. It makes me so sad. It's all my fault. I'm a noob, but don't worry, you guys. I'm getting this. I'm figuring it out. I'm way excited, and things are going to be great. So, anyways, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, and this was not enough incentive, I'm not sure what would be. Guys, please subscribe to my channel if you're feeling it. I would love to have you join. Um, hit the little bell a couple times. I'll just let you know when I'm going live or when I'm posting stories. 
because I want you here with me because like I said, the chat is so important. And don't be shy. Like definitely hop in that chat. Definitely say hi because I know a lot of people who like lurk and they don't post ever. And then all of a sudden when they're, they're like, hey, we've been hanging out with you and just never said anything. Come say hi. We want you to. So do that. Make sure you say hi to me. And what else? Let's see. Leave your comments. Share, share me out because yeah, I just think it'll be good to, to keep going. So anyways, you guys have a good night. Happy 4th of July. And I will be doing a live very soon. I'll probably wait um, maybe in the middle of the week next week because I don't want to interrupt the holiday weekend. So you guys have a good weekend.